So you might be wanting to go ahead and pair up your Xbox One controller to your iPad. Now doing this is actually very, very basic. It really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to load up into your settings of your specific iPad. Now when you do that, you want to go ahead and then click on your Bluetooth connection settings, which are right here. So click on Bluetooth and then you will see this little panel come up. Now all you want to do is go ahead and make sure that your specific Bluetooth icon is on and that is all you're going to have to do. Now on your controller, on your Xbox One controller, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hold down two little buttons. You want to hold down your Xbox Home button right here and the little sync button that's at the very top. So go ahead and hold down both of these buttons and you will start to see that the light on the front of the Xbox One controller will start to blink. So you can see when it starts blinking like this, what you want to do is you want to put your controller down and then you want to make your way back into your iPad and you should be able to see that device come up right here. Now chances are, I don't know if one of these controllers are actually part of my Xbox, but I will go ahead and sync it off and I will go and sync it back on and we will see what essentially will come up. Now if it still doesn't show up, you may want to delete your existing ones. And there we go, it actually ended up working. So now you will see the Xbox wireless controller come up at the very bottom. So now all you want to do is go and click on Xbox wireless controller or if it says Xbox One controller, the name of your controller basically. And then you will see that the light will stop blinking and that is all you're going to have to do. Now if I go ahead and move around here, it, sometimes it doesn't work. If you have the battery widget enabled, you will see that the battery life will be displayed here. And if I go and sometimes if I go and change this around, you can see that the dock at the bottom, it's, if I click these buttons, it's moving the icons around. I can go and switch pages too, I think at some point, but that is basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.